All right, just completed the radiator, the Koyo Rad. Um, pretty straightforward. Here, here's the little one. Um, so you know, front and neck, uh, the fans is two. Fa the two fans are separate. These four screws, one, two, three, four. They go into these holes here. Um, the radiator itself slips in and is attached up here by the stays. One and two. You got your upper upper radiator hose that goes into the water neck over here. And then you have a lower right there. That lower neck is the uh, thermostat housing, <clears throat> which is held in by two screws. Uh, I believe uh, they're both 10 millimeter screws. Uh, they're pretty easy to get to. Um, I changed the thermostat uh, OEM. Um, you know, with the uh, it's pretty straightforward. One side in with the uh, with the the valve at 12 o'clock. I did have to, I did have to actually trim this a half inch on each side. Just heads up uh, for the coil rad. I think the coil rads are maybe half inch uh, half inch thicker. And then you have um. Just two fan clips. So one fan clip right here. Actually, I need to slide that in somewhere. And then the other right there. They're pretty easy to get into or slip off. And then you have the uh, the coolant bottle you're gonna take off as well. Oh, but that wasn't too bad. It's a it's actually a tab tab right here. You push this tab and it pops out. But all uh, that's it. I mean, this is from this cap's from the uh, OEM. So is the other. Uh, this actually had to. Um, this came separate. Uh, there's two different sizes that came with the radiator. I just fit the one that fitted. I'm not quite sure. I should know this, but I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, this one is for the coolant line. I'm assuming this one's just a vent because it goes through a swirl box or, yeah, to a swirl box and to another hose i'm not sure where it goes i'm assuming it's a vent but yeah pretty easy pretty straightforward uh it looks good and i accept it to perform well i had a coyo rat right on my uh, 240 so uh, i just changed the oil and i just changed the gear oil as well in the front trans um i used uh right line mt90 it took about the front trans is the front trans but it's also the housing for the front diff and the center diff. Um, it took a little over four quarts. So four and a quarter, four and a third. And uh, I bought new, um, new plugs for it too. Uh, they're two small plugs, these guys here. Um, they're actually, they are 10 millimeter. I think it's 10, these are 10 mil. Uh, Allen, uh, let's see, I think it's 10. Yep, uh, 10 mil Allen. And then this star is, a, this star for the main drain is a T70. So T7, one T70, and then two tens uh, with new gaskets. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Uh, next, I'm not sure what I'm doing next, really. Uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do blow off valve. Oh, I need to actually finish. There's no cool in here yet because I'm adding the um, the extra line to the cylinder head. People call it the cooling mod, and apparently you could tap into cylinder head four um, for an extra coolant line. It because apparently it dead ends there and it creates a hot spot. So I decided to do it, especially since I have no water in there now. So that is next, and I'll make a video. Thank you.